Hey everyone, I'm back today with another tutorial. We're going to be taking a look at moving this model right here from Blender into Unreal Engine 5. So I got this free model from CG Trader and I thought it was pretty nice because it was rigged and animated. It was made by a user named Pityvault, so if you want to support them, head over here and download it. They also have a few other items for sale if you want to check those out. I'll also leave a link in the description where you can get this model for free. All right, with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. When you open up the scene, like I said, it is a blend file. It should look something like this. For me, it was set to cycles. I'm just going to change it over to Eevee. And we can hit Z and material preview if you want to take a look at the materials. If we head on over to shading and then we change it to object, we can actually take a look at the shaders or the materials for this model. And it looks like while there are some textures, a lot of it was created using Blender nodes. So these may not translate very well over to Unreal Engine, but we'll see what we get. Let's head back over to the layout menu. Now I'm going to get rid of some of these things because we don't need them all. So like we don't need the background. We don't need the camera. And that looks like it's under this group here called sets. So I'm going to delete that. I'll delete this Bezier circle. I'll delete the empty. I'll delete the camera because we don't want to import that to Unreal. So now we should just have a scene with just our model and rig. From here we can begin the export process. So I'm going to actually press the A button to select all. And we'll go to File, Export, and FBX. Okay, so to do this correctly for Unreal, we have to change a few options. I like to set it to Selected Objects Only. That way, only what I have selected will get exported. In this case, we deleted everything we didn't need, but you may have a scene with a lot of other objects. So you only want to select what you want to export. And then you'll also notice we have all of these object types selected and we don't need to export all of them. Really all we want in this case is the mesh and the armature. So I'm gonna click mesh and shift click armature so we have both of those selected. All right, now we wanna scroll down to transform and we wanna change forward to X forward and up to Z up and then we can click apply transform. All right, next let's scroll down to geometry and we're not gonna change anything here. We'll go to armature. These are the settings that affect your armature. The main thing we want to do is uncheck this add leaf bones, otherwise it's going to add a bunch of extra bones to your skeletal rig. And then under bake animation, we leave all of these checked. And if you want, you can actually hit the plus sign here and save a new preset. So you don't have to make these settings over and over and over. So when I come in here, I can just select it from the drop down. And I already had one made, but I just saved another one. After that, let's go ahead and export the FBX. So I already tried this out earlier. So I'm just going to save over that. So we'll go ahead and hit export right here. All right. So I've gone ahead and moved over to Unreal Engine 5. I have a test project called Sandbox that I created. It's just a third person template sandbox. You can see it here. Nothing crazy. I just use this to test out various things that I'm working on. And we're going to use this to import the model and make sure it's working correctly. All right. So let's just go ahead and make a new folder for our model. We'll do that real quick by right clicking and we'll choose new folder. Go into that folder and we'll click the import button right here. And here is our FBX model will hit open and a dialog box will come up with a lot of options. So I'm going to show you the important ones that we need to make sure are checked for one skeletal mesh and import mesh, because we want to get the skeleton. And of course we want to import the mesh itself and we'll scroll down a little bit. And for import animations, we need to make sure that's checked. So go ahead and click import all. And it's going to take a second while it imports, but it's not too bad. All right, so we can see right here, 
uh, we have several things, several materials, several animations. We also have the model itself and a skeleton asset and a physics asset. So let's just take a look at the model. And we'll notice the material doesn't quite look right. And that's because like I mentioned in the beginning, Blender materials don't translate perfectly over to Unreal. Let's take a look at the skeletal model. So we can actually see that it did move over the bones or the rig for the model, and we can adjust it here. If I go over to Asset Browser right here, I can actually play an animation. So let's just pick one, and some of these are a little weird. Let's find the one that we were using in Blender. There we go. Here it is. So that looks good. All right, so you may be wondering about the textures and how we can get those to look correct. Fortunately, this model did come with a few texture images that we can import. So we'll go ahead and click import again. We'll go to this texture folder and we'll just pick these four textures. We'll hit open. You can see now they've been imported in. We can double click the model and we can actually see right here, here's all of the different materials. So it looks like they're pretty basic because they were imported from Blender and the Blender nodes aren't quite compatible. If we click this one, you can see it's basically just a color that's attached to base color. So we're not going to get a lot of detail out of that. Let's identify which one goes with which. So this one looks like it's probably the bulb on his back. We can click highlight. You can see that that was highlighted. Or we can click isolate so you can just see the object. So we know that this material corresponds with this mesh. So let's go ahead and double click it. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to get that image that we imported. Let's see, flower bun. I'm just going to drag it in. And I'm going to plug that into base color. So unfortunately, it did not come with a roughness or normal map. I'll go ahead and just set a setting for roughness so it's not super shiny like that. I'll hold down the one key and I'll click right here. And you can see it gives us a simple value and I'll make that a one and I'll plug that into roughness. So now it's not super shiny. If we did zero, it would be very shiny, actually reflective, but we're gonna go one. And so it looks like that. Let's go back to the model here and let's find the body. Yeah, right here. We'll double click this one and we'll just do the same thing. We'll delete this. We'll drag in Bulbasaur body alpha color into the material and we'll plug it in just like we did before and we'll hold down one and click i'll change the value to one i'll plug that in right here for roughness we will apply save and we'll go back here and you can see we have a much better result now all right guys so the last thing i want to do is actually find the animation which is right here and i'm going to drag it into the scene and he is massive. It's absolutely huge. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. Yeah, so this this guy is pretty big, which is not correct. So how do we fix this? We're actually going to go back into Blender, and we're going to export this Bulbasaur out in a much smaller size. So make sure everything's selected. We'll hit File, Export, FBX. We'll select the model right here and make sure our operator preset is set to the one that we created before. And then under scale, this is where we can actually adjust the size. We can make it bigger or smaller. Right now it's a one, and I think that it would probably look correct if he was maybe only 25% of the size that he was imported to Unreal in the first time. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna type in 0.25. So that should be about 25%. And I'll go ahead and hit the export button overriding the previous FBX model. Now I did find that this could be kind of slow while Unreal is open. So maybe just wait or close Unreal Engine. I just waited and it, it took a minute or two, but it did finish up. All right, so I'm back in Unreal Engine and you see the model is still huge. That's because that's the old version. I'm going to right click this model right here, and I'm gonna hit re-import. Okay.
Okay. Let's click on him. He definitely looks smaller here, but in the viewport, he's still big. That's because we didn't use this model. We actually used the animation file. So I'm actually going to right click that and I'm going to reimport that. And we should see it's now shrunk down. I'm going to hit play. We can see that looks a lot better. That looks actually quite right. So there we go, guys. That is how you take a model from Blender and import into Unreal Engine with animation with a little bit of material fixes. I think that's about it. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some more game dev tutorials soon. So yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you.